So this is in response to a question. It says right here, the firmware you've installed on your CR10S Pro, does it have issues like one, not being able to reprint the same file again after you finish or stop the print? Um, you're gonna get the answer to that in the end of the video. And number two, printer not being able to pause or exchange filament. Like when you hit pause, the printer will stop the print instead. So I'm gonna answer these questions. Actually, I'm gonna show you what happens or how to solve the problem. And it's gonna be on this video. Now it's been a while since I printed my prints on an SD card because I use, uh, as you can see, the Raspberry Pi and OctoPrint. And you can see right here, the cord normally goes in here. It's not connected. It is straight off the SD card. So I'm just gonna print something via the SD card. So we're gonna go here, print. And I have this small cube. I'm gonna go ahead and print it. I'm not gonna print it all the way because I don't wanna waste filament. I'm gonna stop in mid print. So I'm going to pause it around at 20%. So I'm just going to let it run for a while. No, it's going to it's taking too long. I'm going to stop it at 15%. So there we go. I'm going to pause it. It says pause printing. I'm going to press yes. And there's still G code that's running. That's why it's still running right now. Okay, here we have the print paused. Now it says here no filament. Click yes to change filament or no to cancel. The mistake that most people make is actually pressing no. Whether you change out the filament or not, you want to press on yes if you want to resume the print. No means you actually want to cancel the print. The CR10S Pro has a filament sensor trigger, which is this thing right here. It um, has a blue light on because there's filament inside. It's just a trigger that lets it know that um, there is filament. So normally if you were to run out of filament, this uh, pause feature would trigger. But this time I manually triggered the pause feature. So because the CR10S Pro has a large build volume and that's one of the reasons why this feature was implemented. So if you have a filament that ran out and then you will switch out and put in a new filament and then you click on yes and it'll resume the print. So it's going to heat up again and then it'll start resuming the print. Yeah, sometimes it pops up twice, but just click on yes, and as you can see, it's resuming the print. So I'm just going to let it go to about 30% and I'm going to cut off the uh, stop the print.
Oh shoot. Oh shoot. It deformed because I took out the plastic before it hardened, but if you look right here, there is a little bit of a hold on, I'm not sure you can't see it. You see this right here, there's a string and it's a little bit de-layered right here. So it's not perfect. So there is a little bit of blemish when you pause the print and then resume the print. Again, this feature was in there because you have a large build volume and you're gonna run out of roll of filament before you finish the print. And that's why uh, the pause feature is there. It's really not a pause feature, it's for the filament runout sensor. So the filament runout sensor detects the filament is not there anymore. And it gives you the option to either resume the print or cancel the print. And then I will print the cube again. As you can see, there's no problem reprinting the cube. It just has to heat it up again and then it will reprint it. As you can see, there's no problem reprinting the same print. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop. 